Um, hello, uh, greetings to everyone. Uh, grace and peace be multiplied to you uh, in the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Reign in your hearts uh, and be with you all. Uh, and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Uh, so typically I make these videos, right, and I say the first things that come up to my head, so I'm going to start doing that now, just because I have uh, generally a lot of things to actually uh, talk about. And more or less, these are the things that are more important, uh, so I uh, just focus on it, uh, but I still don't want to emphasize the whole video uh, about these uh, points that I'm about to make, uh, as there's plenty of other knowledge uh, that individuals need to actually hear as uh, God's people himself they perish for a lack of knowledge not because they have too much of it so uh, I'm just going to talk about enticements uh, the devil's background well, not even the devil's background but just uh, the, the devil's main tactics and uh, how he's easily beatable and uh, the enticements themselves is, is just uh, I'm just going to mention that right off right away uh that the enticements themselves are the reasons why individuals are even uh they even get tempted uh like these things themselves are written in the scriptures uh when an individual is actually enticed it is their own desires that entices them and this is the reason why they fall into temptation uh and they fall into sin now i've mentioned this plenty of times before uh in many different ways and in many different uh aspects and many different forms rather uh where an individual who um uh, who is a straight man obviously he's not really enticed uh with unnatural desires for another man so this is, in short in essence is the same concept that i'm trying to uh, uh get across uh to your head to understand that every ailment every sin that you obviously have uh, is all due to your own uh, enticements and desires uh, which realistically I'm leaning towards is more than likely iniquity uh, that has just uh, has been so deeply rooted inside of your body inside of your heart and inside of your mind your soul your will and your emotions that you even find this type of behavior uh, okay and and, uh, and normal to actually be able to act and, and function in this way of thinking uh, so I know I mentioned in a past video how angels uh, you have to do the works that angels do, uh, but this in itself is gonna get placed in the back pocket just because uh, you're gonna end up forgetting it, uh, just because of how uh, of, of a force this actually is for you to actually be, um, uh, how much damage it actually does to the kingdom of darkness. So obviously, because of that, these individuals are not really in that way of uh, of thinking where they obviously want you to act in this manner because now you're actually operating in the spirit itself, and so you're 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 a fish. That was out of water and now you're getting dumped right back into the water by acting and doing the works that angels actually do so in short and in essence these these people don't like it whatsoever as well as using the truth to your advantage that way you could actually um uh that way you could actually uh, obviously win just because the truth is solid the truth is absolute and there's nothing that these individuals can ever um uh, do to change the truth as there's many bitter truths and many truths in itself that individuals don't want to admit uh, and confront and address these issues and situations themselves uh, the truth is always never changing and it's always going to remain the same so uh, obviously our truths in itself there's there's bad truths well not bad truths but uh, and, and good truths for us whereas the bad truth is uh, if you sin obviously the legality comes in for the devil to actually come inside of your life if you sin you obviously are going to die for that sin and there's also good truths as well that Christ himself died for the sins of humanity uh, and he died for your sins and uh, his grace is actually what ends up covering uh, your sin uh, so um, hearken and lay it to heart uh, just because uh, uh, you have to obviously apply these truths uh, in all aspects of your life just uh, because it's, it's so easily uh, beatable to just beat the lies of the devil because they're just based on nothing. They're just based on nothing but wind and nothing but words themselves and not based on any real truths and anything behind them. Whereas the devil is more than capable to obviously uh, use the, the, the truth you also can use a higher truth than the truth and he's obviously mentioning so uh the truth is always going to backfire on him uh and the truth is not going to benefit him whatsoever if, if if you remain uh ground in this faith uh to ensure that uh the devil has no place or foothold in your or leverage uh in your life 
And so uh, I already understand. I've come to the knowledge that these individuals will try to throw it whatever they can uh, to you to try to attempt to uh, discourage you and to try to prevent you from just uh, taking the leap of faith and actually accepting the truth for what it actually is. Uh, but uh, not because of that. But obviously, individuals still need to hearken and 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 really recognize how powerful the truth actually is. That uh, and, and it just nullifies everything and anything that the devil throws at you. Just because it's you just look at it at face value and you're just like it's nothing but words. The only real things that actually come inside of your life are, are the angels of light. Uh, that that come masqueraded, but they're actually demons. Uh, whereas if you actually do the works that angels uh, do, you're always operating in the spirit, and you're always uh, in the water as you are a fish, and the fish needs water to actually function, to breathe, and to live in. And you are absolutely no different than these fishes themselves. So uh, honestly, um, the, these angels of light are, are actually what pose a threat in individual and. Uh, in your spiritual life uh, so you're going to have to make this into a habit where you're just doing the works that angels do at all times uh, as more often than not uh, pride is going to come up and rear its head in your life and if you fall victim to this pride or you fall victim to a, a subtle version of pride itself an angel of light of pride uh, you're obviously going to get rebuked and you're going to be wondering what happened how did i get to this point uh and it was because you just said no nah, i'm not going to do the work of the angels do just because this individual got me mad uh, i'm judging righteously and, and and so in short it's a curse in itself just like how i've been mentioning uh but and it's a curse on your emotions and so you break this curse or you fall victim to it and you end up uh, you end up backsliding and just getting rebuked by God uh, because these are life and death decisions so uh, you honestly do have to take it that serious because this is essentially what it is uh, the next time it could happen you could honestly die so uh, just do the works that angels do at all times and really think ahead and really be prudent about these types of things to ensure that you're actually loosening the graces uh, that to ensure that you're always doing the works that angels themselves uh, actually do and not really letting a foothold or some sort of legality or some sort of uh, uh, legalistic uh the ground uh, for a devil to come inside of your life and just completely halt your spiritual growth and completely halt you from actually applying this uh, in every aspect and in every activity that you do on a daily basis. But as this in itself is absolutely vital and important, so you must be doing the worst angels do at all times. I spoke about this months ago, but I got placed in the back pocket as I myself wasn't really applying myself diligently in it either. And more or less, I myself did let pride get in the way uh, of it as well. So uh, lay that to heart and actually uh, and recognize that, the, that these things are, are generally serious for you to actually be uh, walking in and actually functioning in. I know I, I mentioned to use the truth uh, in all aspects, uh, as the only truth that there actually is is how you, is how you function in heaven itself. Uh, that's the only truth there actually is. So this earth on, uh, is all based on the secular light itself. The whole order, the legalistic things, and just things in general like that, all of it is borrowed uh, from the the, the heavenly. Uh, order itself so uh, obviously if you just cast out all the secular light in itself from your lives and you just truly ground yourselves in the heavenly uh, image and use that truth to actually function and interact and live your life on earth as it is in heaven uh, obviously all the demonic activity in itself is going to be exposed but you're just starting early and you're just acting and functioning in this manner as if you know uh, as it is just truth and you really have no other option other than actually living in this so i understand that these things seem uh, kind of over overwhelming for individuals to actually be able to understand and to and to grasp and to really recognize that they have to be applying these types of activities uh, in this way of thinking to everything that they obviously do uh but Nevertheless, it's still the truth, so you don't really have much of a choice. That would be the same thing as somebody who goes to uh, college, uh, learns a whole class about, uh, I don't know, maybe anatomy or or maybe just uh, about math itself, and then just completely dis negates what they just learned uh, and just dumbs themselves down and just says, whatever, that's, that's all fake, and they just live in denial about it, and they're just like, oh, it's all fake, it's all fake, and, and things of that nature. 
it's the same exact principle and the same exact concept. So uh, I've repeated this plenty of times before, but uh, obviously it needs to be more emphasized. That way you could obviously uh, be released and be freed from this legalistic bonds and this legalistic way, of, uh, not even that, but just this yoke of oppression that is on you and uh, demonic activity that is in your life that is just stopping you from actually accepting what is true. So uh, these things in itself are actually just... Uh, they're just in your life for no real good reason. So because these things are just in your life for no real reason, uh, you just have to get rid of them because this is the only option that you truly have. And so I know this sounds pretty, uh, not crazy, but what would be the word? You're just going to have to wake up from this secular lie in itself. That way you could actually function in the same manner that you would function down here on earth as you would in heaven so uh lay it to heart uh, and actually uh recognize it uh because this is all that there actually is uh the devil obviously did a real good job in covering uh the existence of god in itself and how you should be in heaven is the same how you should be down here on earth uh, and because of that you're not even able to uh, really accept it and to really uh, accept it 100 percent that this is a manner that you should be functioning in while you're actually walking on the face of this earth and you have even uh, subtly uh, in actions and a way of thinking you have confessed that it's all right to act in a secular light and it's all right to act uh, contrary to my image uh, or to have my heavenly uh manners and how I would actually function in heaven because I'm down here on earth or whatever other reasoning and excuse the devil uh, gave at you to try to pacify you from truly uh, uh, being freed from his uh, his snares, his ways of thinking and his philosophies. So uh, you honestly don't really have much of a choice whatsoever uh, and this is really what I'm trying to get across to your head that this is it. everyone's been deceived, the devil deceived everyone and and now you're even having a hard time accepting this in all aspects uh, as 100% truth. But this is all that there obviously is. Um, Babylon in itself is just promoting the devil's agenda. They're trying to crush as many individuals on the face of this earth to ensure that they stay in these, these, these secular lives because they're controlling them. And then if they are able to control them, they are obviously able to control where they're going to end up at. So obviously these individuals are going to end up in the lake of fire just because they're controlling them through denial uh, and through uh, ma mainly denial uh, and uh, and pacifying them and to not even fighting back in the heavenlies and hitting them in the heavenlies uh, and binding and loosing these types of things uh, and the ones directing their abominations and loosing enough legions to get uh, this secular lie out of the entire earth. Uh, as it has no place on earth itself because it is a flat out lie in the same manner where an individual is just lying to you and just cheating on you day in and day out and you let this individual stay in your life obviously you're going to cut this individual off or you're going to leave them and do this or do that uh, but uh, it's, it's a lot deeper than just uh, cheating on another individual or, or doing things like that uh, it's, it's more uh, about you just not putting up with any of the lies and just letting it go so um so i was talking about being enticed and this is essentially when it, it ends up causing you to fall into sin this is what this is why you're actually tempted to begin with as some individuals are not really enticed by um hmm, i can't really think of anything uh, just because mostly individuals are so ground and being straight that they're not really enticed whatsoever with homosexuality but uh, that's the best example I can honestly give for an individual and for them to actually be able to recognize and to actually see that um, every sin that, or every enticement in itself that comes inside of their life uh, should be viewed in the same manner as something that has no effect on you whatsoever so uh, obviously in some way, shape or form, something accepts uh, everyone on the face of this earth. But being straight, obviously nobody's really enticed whatsoever from um, by a homosexual man or, or by another man in general. So that in itself is kind of a curse of iniquity in itself that individuals have in their vessel that uh, they actually end up getting enticed, they end up getting uh, deceived and the mind actually gets attacked. Uh, and to get them to fold and to stop acting in this integrity of patience or just in, uh, of anything else that actually uh, had zero effect on you prior to the incident that actually happened in your life. So obviously after that incident happened, this is where the legality actually uh, ended up 
uh, coming in. And this is obviously where you could look back and you could just be like, oh, man, I remember before that time. Uh, I didn't really didn't have any problems. But uh, with time, every one, of these indiv- every one of these problems themselves, they obviously do become a lot heavier for individuals to deal with. And individuals uh, just are... are it prompts them to obviously ask for deliverance and it prompts them to actually be wanting to get delivered but uh obviously there was some angel of light or some form uh, that entered inside of their life uh and this legality is just ripping them to pieces so uh obviously this is a lot more serious than just uh saying oh well um uh, I, it was all right. I, I thought I was judging righteously and, and things of that nature because uh, through your uh, because of your your overthrown judgment, um, now you're actually paying the consequences for it and you're actually paying the price uh, for it. So this is not one of those types of things where you're just like, well, God is gonna forgive me for it and things of that nature. You have to get rid of all of these uh, angels of light that are inside of your life. Not necessarily. You don't really have to identify every single one of them. You just have to cast every single one of them out, as you're not gonna be able to get every single one of these angels of lights, and you're just gonna prolong your deliverance in itself just because you're making it uh, into this giant uh, legalistic. Uh, I have to do it like this and like so, and then I'll actually get to deliverance. When re- in reality, you should just. Uh, shoot first and just whatever whatever was replaced uh, with Christ's grace uh, that is preserving you from actually acting in this manner uh, is is just fine it it doesn't really matter whatsoever there's been plenty of sins that Christ himself has given you graces for you to overcome and you didn't even realize or recognize that you're actually living in this manner and actually living in this sin so lay it to heart uh, and and seriously give it to Christ as I'm typically being very serious about these types of messages uh, I'm, I'm not at all speaking these messages just to hear the sound of my voice or things of that nature or just to seem eloquent or or just to seem uh, knowledgeable uh, I'm actually saying these things because I need you to actually be applying these things to your life because it is a necessity so obviously take it as serious as the things that I'm actually mentioning and get that uh, curse off of your head that is not really uh, letting you accept uh, what I'm actually saying uh, and it's full depth and just as serious as what I'm actually talking about as is essentially what it is uh, it, it's just a curse that is placed on the side of your head uh, that is blinding your eyes and that is uh, halting you from actually being able to understand and to recognize uh, the time that is at hand uh, but um, I'm just going to talk about the actual videos in itself now what I was what I actually going to talk about but um if the devil tries to enter your life, just say no. This isn't the heavenly image and use this truth to fight and bind and loose. Anything else he says after this is an obvious lie to ensure that you doubt the word of God and you actually believe him. So uh, you need the facts to get your healing today. So obviously you need the absolute facts uh, to get your healing today. Uh, so if you are actually in this way of thinking where everything... Uh, how would I explain it? If you use the truth of what God, of Christ Himself, what He was actually doing on the face of this earth, and you use that to your advantage to ensure that you actually are uh, using the facts to get your healing today, obviously you're going to get your healing today. There was nothing that stopped these individuals from getting healed by Christ, and the same spirit that is inside of Christ is obviously inside of you. And that's basically it. I mean, you have to use these facts to get your healing today. This is pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple to grasp. But uh, there's there's a lot deeper than just uh, saying these words that individuals uh, are hearing. It's just about you, obviously, grounding yourself in this truth and grounding yourself in the truth that you could obviously be healed today, and not letting the devil try to give you some excuse or try to, try to give you some uh, reasoning uh, to prolong your healing and to prolong your deliverance, which is in short. Uh, easier to see through now with your eyes you can see right through that tactic uh, and you can see exactly what they're up to when they actually say these types of excuses that is completely contrary to what I just said uh, as what I said was actually truth in itself and that was absolute truth uh, don't let these devils get inside of your head I know it seems like one of those types of things where you're just like oh well uh, I guess I have to wait. It's God's will and it's God's plan, and I have to wait on God's will and I have to wait on God's timing. Uh, but that in itself is another excuse that the devil himself is twisting uh, scripture to ensure that he, you prolong your deliverance in itself. 
So just let it go and just use the truth to your advantage. You could actually get healed today. And use that uh, that truth uh, 100%. As I'm sure there's many different uh, legal grounds that the devil is actually using uh, inside of your life to ensure and, and to maintain this uh, oppression on the side of your head that you're not really doing much damage. You're not really progressing much in this uh, using the truth to your advantage. But in reality, you just have to get rid of these uh, these legal grounds and these types of things that are just... Uh, obviously they've been happening for a while now and these main three things or main four things or whatever it may be uh have just been harassing you for months and years on end so obviously you just get rid of these things and then you go right back into using the truth to your advantage because at face value this is essentially what it actually is you just have to get rid of these types of things that are actually happening inside of your life and definitely investigate what your intents behind your actions are and what you really want from this life so uh, i know i said if the devil enters your life just say no because it's 100 percent contrary to your heavenly image it seems pretty self-explanatory and like, just so simple like you just put your foot down you're like just say no you don't even bother uh fighting back or doing anything of that nature but uh in all honesty it's it's just uh you're going to have to bind and loose these types of things because essentially you've broken every curse but now you got to bind them and cast them out of your body and then send them into wherever they belong to because you've already broken every single legal ground uh, that is in for these devils themselves so now these individuals uh, have to leave and now you could obviously replace these types of things in your life Anything else he says after this is an obvious lie to ensure that you doubt the word of God and you believe him. So uh, this is just so easy just to recognize and to see that any all the demonic activity that's happening inside of your life uh, that is contrary to your heavenly image uh, obviously should not be there whatsoever. And the devil is just saying whatever he can to ensure that he could obviously have some sort of foothold or leverage inside of your life. So this in short, I mean, the solution seems pretty simple. You just focus 100% and you accept this as 100% truth uh, and you apply it and you you make a habit out of it to ensure that you actually are um, applying this in every single aspect of your life that's basically it you just try to make a habit out of it and you try to make it uh, make it seem as um, what would be the word embedded inside of your head so just like uh just like how you have accepted that jesus christ died for your sins and you don't really waver or, or think or give him much of a second thought again that he did die for my sins and things of that nature this is the same as like or just two plus two equals four this is the same exact principle that you should be uh, living in and, and acting uh and apply to uh with it concerning if the devil tries to enter your life just say no this is the heavenly image and use this truth to fight and bind and loose and to actually get your healing today as this is a curse and a, an open wound that needs to be uh that needs to receive medical attention so uh the devil is using every legal ground in your life to discourage you into thinking you are not going to get your deliverance because he knows he's going to lose so he meets you with all types of hindrances discouragements demonic activity to try to convince you that you are losing and the more obvious he fights you with these types of messages so if he even tries to fight you uh, when you're actually seeking out your deliverance itself or your healing itself, automatically you should be able to see right through that tactic and just be like, okay, I know what you're up to now. You seriously want to stop this deliverance. So, uh, uh, But while you're actually going through this process in itself, people typically get overwhelmed and they don't really see through the tactic that's actually happening to them. Uh, so honestly, because uh, that is essentially what is happening, uh, people fall right, uh, fall straight victim into, their, into his trap. And... Uh, their deliverance gets prolonged for years and months and days so at face value this seems pretty crazy you know that this stuff has even been happening for years but it was so simple and obvious to recognize and to obviously see what was happening uh, inside of their life but you just need to be uh, more sharpened uh, for you to actually be able to recognize and see and sensitive to these things uh, that way you're not really falling for any of his tactics you're not falling for any of his tricks uh, and uh, that's that's basically it.
as he himself would just keep repeating the same things over and over again uh, to try to discourage you and to try to get in your way of thinking uh, that you're not really doing anything to our kingdom but more or less it's just the same things over and over again so look at these things at face value like how many times has these, has these things ever been reoccurring and how long has this been reoccurring for and uh, obviously it's like okay i know what you're up to right away so uh let's just focus on getting rid of these legal grounds in itself and obviously once you actually get rid of all of these legal grounds you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be like man i'm actually doing a lot of damage to the kingdom of darkness and i was really suckered into this way of thinking that uh i wasn't doing as much damage as i thought just because i was making an idol of these uh same legal grounds that the devil was obviously using in my life So the legions themselves, if your deliverance seems prolonged, it is because you're about to receive it. And he'll say, I guess you don't have enough angels, or maybe they're ambushed, or maybe you're not saved. Uh, but ignore it and use the truth of the scriptures themselves to combat these thoughts and avoid them in general. Uh, just bind and loose these types of things because, uh, I mean, these remedies are relatively simple. But it, it's just that individuals are not really in this way of thinking where they're that they have to view these things like that, that I just have to bind them loose, I just have to use the truth and I'll get my healing today, or I just have to attack these legal grounds and I'll be, uh, and I'll wake up from this slumber or things of that nature and it's like, yeah, realistically, this is essentially all you have to do as the truth is never changing and it's, it's just realistically what it actually is. I know I spoke about enticements and what the devil also uh, does and things of that nature, but uh that is self-accountability on yourself and realistically the same concept and the same principles you can break these curses of enticements because that's essentially what it is you've been cursed uh to be uh enticed by these actual things uh and you just break these curses and now they're forced to leave so cast them out and just replace it and ensure uh that these enticements that used to entice you have no effect on you whatsoever because they shouldn't have had any effect on you at all and it's just a lot of different things that individuals have been uh, accustomed to accepting and even just uh, admitting defeat and letting these things run rampant inside of their life. And uh, because of that, individuals just are so accustomed and so used to suffering in this way of thinking that they just see these things as obviously normal or not even a possibility of them actually being delivered uh, from these uh, things that shouldn't even be inside of their life. So. So when you are enticed through your desires, uh, your, uh, when you're enticed, your desires is the actual problem, which is why you were led into temptation. But it is a breakable curse, as more often than not, it's iniquity. So the, obviously this is a, an issue of the heart in itself. So that's uh, the real reason why you're obviously enticed and why your desires led you into, te into temptation and you fell uh, right into sin. So obviously this is pretty easy to, uh, to grasp and to pretty honest to recognize that this is entirely my fault this is entirely what was inside of my own heart uh, not, and just applying it in all aspects as well because uh, in short this is the reason why individuals lash out this is the reason why individuals uh you know harass another individual or bully another person or uh, fight another individual in general that they use their fists to actually fight they're typically violent and and or they just mouth off or they say insults and they disrespect another individual or they're just not even willing to accept the truth this is an issue of the heart in itself that individuals uh have so obviously it's a it's a breakable curse well, so you can get better, but you're obviously individuals need to seriously uh, humble themselves down, settle down, and and to just uh, accept that um, not accept, but actually you know just get rid of these types of things and just uh, investigate themselves and just clear the clutter uh, and organize everything that is inside of their own lives. Uh, that should have not been there to begin with, but obviously through ignorance and through deception and through deceptive manners, uh, you fell victim to the trap and now there's nothing you can do about it. So, temptation leads to sin and sin leads to death. So, no straight man is enticed by another man to fall into the sin of homosexuality. This is not what you're desirous of obviously as all sin should be viewed this way do the work angels do and do not let pride get in the way of doing the work of perfect angels as these acts of rebellion will have dramatic effects to your life avoid the demonic loopholes that come from this and just the demonic loopholes in general uh think ahead and be prepared and loose the graces in your life to ensure you do not fail and your work withstands the fire this is going to help in doing the works that you reap the heavenly jewels 
So I just added that last bit just because I needed individuals to still not lose uh, focus on what they actually should be focused on. Uh, because obviously the more you focus on the kingdom of darkness, uh, uh, the less you actually are going, the the more you're gonna forget uh, what God is capable of and what He can actually do. So, obviously, this is something that is important for individuals to actually recognize uh, and, and to see that yeah, this is all done by grace. Every single thing that individuals have to be working towards or Christ's goal in itself is gonna be done because you lose the graces inside of your vessel to ensure that you actually are able to do these types of works. In the same manner, you're able to lose these graces to ensure you're not actually enticed by anything or just to be more level-headed or just to be more calm or just to be more quiet or just things of that nature. These are the same exact principles that individuals need to actually uh, recognize and see that it's going to be 100% uh, because of Christ and 0% because of you. As the, thing, the things that I actually just got done mentioning were just generally informative. Uh, it's still it's heavily dependent on your own application as well because if you get distracted by the cares of the world or you get distracted by this or you even get distracted by your old way of thinking and your own uh, how you used to think how you actually used to cope with these types of uh, uh, situations obviously you're not really progressing forward and you're kind of reverting back to it so this is uh, absolutely final uh, this is this is it this is the solid truth and this is the footing and the ground uh, that you have to live in and, and under that you're ev that how you would actually function in heaven is the exact same way that you should function on earth don't let the devils try to give you some excuse or reasoning that right, just because you're on earth you have to function in this manner this is meant to, this is uh, not meant to actually you shouldn't have to deal with any of this in all honesty i know this sounds crazy for individuals to actually even accept as truth that you shouldn't have to deal with anything demonic but uh in, in all honesty is you're just being harassed and it's all unnecessary just because you've accepted the truth uh and realistically it has no place in your life whatsoever because you've already accepted it as truth maybe individuals are still on the fence about these types of things on whether or not they actually believe it wholeheartedly or just uh other things like that but uh, it's, it's still going to be heavily dependent on your own application until you're finally uh, truly ground in this way of thinking in the same manner the individuals were ground in being holy, uh, not being impatient, not being angry with everyone, and not even just lashing out uh, on another person that you've never met for your entire life so uh, fast just to ensure that this actually becomes a habit for yourself and you're not really um I mean you're obviously learning right away and you're you're sharpening yourselves so this is the most important thing that individuals need to actually recognize uh, and to actually see that this is the only truth that there obviously is but this is still going to require a lot of application and a lot of efforts on your end and obviously God does not want or rather Christ does not want 99.9 percent .9%. he wants 100 percent uh, effort in this he wants you to give it your a plus plus game and he wants you to seriously uh, lay it to heart and to actually uh, not cheat him whatsoever because you're not going to be able to cheat him you're going to he's going to rebuke you and you're going to end up uh be operating in the flesh for some time and then you're going to be wondering and questioning uh, why am i reaping these seed why am i reaping so much flesh and then obviously it's because christ himself has already recognized and has already seen and noticed uh that you weren't really giving him your a game whatsoever so uh this is basically uh about it as the general focus should still be maintained uh on your heavenly uh manner and uh, the, how you function up there because that in itself just uh exposes all the demonic activity that is happening in your life and you're able to actually combat this and you're actually as well as just getting rid of the legal grounds in, in itself that are happening inside of your life that is just uh making you or anything contrary that is making you uh not think that you're actually uh moving forward or or things of that nature as these in itself are actually these things themselves are actually holding you back from actually um living in this way of thinking and living in this manner uh th these things are so simple and so easy to just apply to yourselves but still all of it is just heavily dependent on you and how much you actually uh want it uh as well as your general wisdom in itself that you have actually gained from reading the scriptures uh and to to know and to understand and to recognize that it is all 100 percent grace uh, and that's essentially
it. Um, what else was I actually going to talk about? I mean, that's the Holy Spirit. Well, it just has to advance to ensure that the area that you live in is functioning under the same truth. Just because it is truth, and just because you are a truthful person, and you live in, in this way of thinking where you just... Uh, you believe and accept the truth wholeheartedly. Obviously, with this comes the fact that you're going to win because you're using the truth to obviously win. You're going to have to bind and loose. You're going to have to get rid of all the legal grounds uh, to ensure that you're actually living in the same manner in your town and your place because this is you advancing on the kingdom of darkness and making every place that is on the face of this earth um, in the same likeness and the same manner as how it is in heaven i know individuals are going to get in this way of thinking where they're just like well i can't do that because i can't i can't take account for the people of the sins or the sins of the people that are in my place and things of that nature i uh, just forget about it and just put your foot down and just make sure and ensure that the image that is on earth is mirrored to the image that is in heaven so uh, these things have to be identical, and these things have to be in, in the same likeness. Uh, obviously, because of that, these types of things should just ground you and help you focus on you actually just focusing on the on the heavenly fruits. Uh, as you are still on earth, you haven't really died yet, so all your works haven't been given up. Uh, you still have uh, plenty of time to actually function. Uh, and to actually work and perfect these types of works themselves uh, as you're not in heaven already so uh, use it to your own advantage uh, work smarter not harder uh, this in itself is actually going to help you perfect your character and to really ground you and to really get you in this way of thinking that you know this is all that there is uh, bless God uh, thank you Father for creating me and uh, thank you for making this a lot uh, easier for me uh, but obviously I'm going to tell you, I'm going to warn you that these types of things are not going to come easily as you would obviously think. Uh, these things are generally of high order and uh, highly esteemed in the kingdom of heaven. So there's going to come, a, uh, you're going to have to count the cost. Uh, as these things are going to come with all types of, all types of various trials, uh, and temptations and tribulations in itself. Uh, and based on how you've actually been functioning and what you've actually been doing with your time, if you've actually been making good use of your time or not, is going to decide whether or not anything actually withstands the heat and uh, whether you have been building with your precious woods and your precious haze and instead of building it with, uh, and doing it how Christ himself has commanded you to do it and how Christ himself uh, has told you to do it. There's no other way to actually do it. So think ahead and be prepared and lose the graces in your life to ensure you do not fail and your work withstands the fires. This is what is going to help in doing the works that you reap the heavenly jewels. So obviously be praying for a more excellent way. Uh, because uh, that's basically... That's basically it. You have to be praying for more excellent way. You're just going to keep moving and advancing forward and walking forward. As prior to this, uh, you, the way that you are actually functioning in is just working towards what and obeying Christ's commands. But now there was a more excellent way than that. Now you're actually focusing on the actual uh, uh, heavenly things that are entirely exclusive to heaven itself so because these things are exclusive to heaven obviously there's fruits in heaven uh that you never even thought of and there's obviously jewels in heaven as these things in, in our plane and in our domain are just meant to actually uh to open up our eyes to see what what, we, what is actually possible in heaven but there is not at all limited to these things that are on that are on earth uh so Honestly, this is just one of those types of things that individuals actually need to let go of the earth and just focus 100% on heaven and what heaven has to offer. Uh, that way you could actually be, uh, not be carnal in mind, but actually be spiritual in mind uh, to ensure that you actually are um, uh, learning, starting early with these types of heavenly principles uh, and just not really limiting uh, any of the things that you obviously have learned and any of the things that you uh, that would limit you while you're walking on the face of this earth that would stop you from functioning in the same manner uh, as you would 
in heaven in heaven so none of these things are meant to be uh in your life anything that's supposed to be, uh, that is limiting you right now in this day and age is obviously clearly demonic so uh get rid of it uh and really get accustomed to this way of thinking where you should just be functioning in the same manner and starting early as you would in heaven learning the heavenly knowledge that you will learn in heaven uh, and doing uh, and having these virtues deeply rooted and deeply grounded and embedded in your mind, your heart, your soul, your will, and your emotions. Uh, that way, this is just uh, your natural character and your natural nature. Whereas people are typically generally scared to actually function with another uh, individual and to just be. Uh, uh, obviously, everybody has this image and this way of thinking that if they actually go to heaven. Nobody's going to think it's weird if you actually go up and you hug an individual or just things like that. So there's a lot of different uh, things that stop uh, individuals from actually acting in the same manner as they would act in heaven. So as nobody really is in this way of thinking, but uh, you're obviously going to have to function and be a lot wiser. Uh, that way you could obviously uh, function and act. And as these things in itself are actually going to limit uh, your virtues, uh and your actual spiritual progression and maturity uh, and growth itself just because individuals are generally not like that whereas maybe it's a little bit natural for individuals to be functioning in the same manner uh, uh, to be functioning in, in how they were how they were act in heaven so there's a lot of hindrances on earth itself that are stopping individuals from not just going up to another individual and just uh, doing this and doing that uh, so don't let anyone stop you from doing or acting in this manner the only thing that is really realistically going to stop you from acting in this manner is yourself so obviously I'm going to need individuals to truly uh, think about that right now that if they were in heaven how would they actually function when they actually would see all the individuals uh, typically individuals get in this way of thinking where they just say oh I just want to hug everyone I just want to love my enemies, all the people that have that have harmed me and have did me wrong or had done this to me in the past, I just want to go up to them uh, and kiss them on the cheek and, and do all this kind of stuff uh, to them. Uh, so obviously the question would arise, what is stopping you from actually functioning in this way uh, right now? Because you're on earth and this in itself is all virtues and this in itself are all treasures that you actually have hid inside of your heart. Uh, so, uh, and why would any of these things obviously stop you uh, from acti actually acting in this manner while you, while you are here on earth? So, uh, seriously recognize these types of treasures that you actually have hidden inside of your heart and still be branching off uh, and make sure that these virtues themselves actually branch off and they're actually not, uh, they actually take good care of individuals that are in your town and things of that nature regardless of what uh, the flesh may uh, act up in and be stirred up towards to lean towards the individuals typically get proud they don't really want to help anyone in their area or they just want to let them die and let them burn as uh, things of that nature so you have to investigate what is stopping you from actually acting in this virtues as these in itself are actually heavenly jewels these in itself are actually jewels themselves that you're actually going to reap uh, but you're not really functioning or acting in this manner just because another individual doesn't typically act like that. But this is just a part of what your person actually is. Maybe something that you learned as you were a child uh, and uh, and now you just recognize individuals are not typically like this. You generally don't act like that. That's only between you and Christ. You give it to Christ 100%. That way you could actually function in the same manner as you would function down here on earth as you would in heaven in every single aspect. Uh, advance uh, and definitely fight spiritual warfare battles as you already have the truth to your advantage uh, you're going to win so use this truth in itself to actually win bind and loose uh, you have the, the the tactics to outsmart the devil's tactics and you have the tactics to outsmart the devil's order and you have things like that uh, but the thing that about wraps it up I don't really have much else to actually say about this video itself Um, what did I talk about? I spoke about the curses themselves. 
I spoke about the curses themselves. How every one of these things are breakable. None of them are right. obviously inside of your life ought uh, to be um, permanent. You just have to take action. You have to take. You have to use your legal grounds and your authorities uh, to break every single uh, curse. So uh, that's basically it. In all honesty. Uh, and the devil himself and his tactics and the things that he does and uh, as this typically is just about your own application and your own efforts and your own responsibility uh, that is going to determine the results that you're actually going to get uh, obviously the more you're grounded in this truth the easier it is for you to just function in the same manner as you will function uh, in heaven but this is all entirely on you. This nobody can make this choice, uh, and nobody can force you to do anything you don't want to do. Um, fight spiritual warfare. Oh, there's still a battle going on in the face of this earth. Just because you're going to win does not mean you don't have to pray until the work is done. You're obviously, you're going to be met with a lot types of different resistance and different types of. Uh, not warfare tactics more or less the same tactics over and over again and uh and things of that nature so uh you're gonna be met with these types of things uh, inside of your life but obviously this is not supposed to deter you or stop you from thinking that you're not going to win these battles because you're going to win uh so just uh stay grounded and keep focused in that way of thinking that you're going to win these battles uh, and that should give you the confidence to ensure that you obviously are able to conquer these bigger battles uh, and these battles themselves are actually inside of your uh, life that are stopping you from actually accepting that you're going to win and and stopping you from actually using the truth itself because this is essentially what, is, what they're actually doing as individuals they get the same thoughts I'm sure they're like, why am I being met with resistance I know I'm going to win but you already give it all right away and you just keep moving forward and you just keep advancing don't let any of these things stop you and always think ahead and always ponder and think about um, what you could be neglecting and aspects and, and things that you could be negligent in uh, as your mind, your heart, your soul, your will and your emotions are, are, are all working together uh, and they should all be united and in harmony under Christ himself uh, so if any one of these aspects is being more cursed than the other aspects, as people who are typically in the secular world, uh, they get cursed with, um, uh, they get more cursed on their own emotions just because this is what they lean to towards, this is just what they've been accustomed to, uh, I'm guided by my own moral in integrity, I got it in the bag like that, and, and just things of that nature. So they, obviously they have more curses on their emotions, or and or another individual who's just in the body of Christ, or not in the body of Christ, who just goes to church itself. These individuals are more cursed in, in the mind where they just accept these things in legalistic manners. And in legalistic ways of thinking. So this is obviously everyone is different based on their own lives and how they actually live their lives. Uh, this is going to determine which place of their lives obviously has more curses. If an individual is, is being uh, as engaged in spiritual warfare, obviously this individual is more cursed in the mind itself, as they already have a moral integrity and ex and accepting that that uh, the scriptures are 100% truth, and that there's absolutely no wavering uh, in these types of things. So. Uh, every one of these things are not as cursed as the other so you have to be ensured that they're all working in order in harmony and united under Christ uh, himself I mean this is relatively simple but it, it just honestly takes you seriously humbling yourselves down uh, and investigating and inquiring and seeking Christ himself as more often than not these types of um and these types of curses are all breakable and they're all easy to get rid of. Uh, even the sins of the fathers in itself, if you actually uh, give these curses and these iniquities to, to Christ himself and you confess these iniquities and these sins, uh, you'll notice a dramatic change in your life and how you actually um, are able to interact in society. I myself have noticed a difference in that 
especially with the sins of the fathers where uh, but you have to lay all of these things out so you have to think about a garbage can and just dump out the garbage can right in front of jesus christ and just be like well this is it this is every this is the sins of the fathers i don't feel like well whatever it's like i just confess the iniquities of the fathers uh and forgive my fathers and forgive uh my mothers and my ancestors and break all the curses and yeah they're all breakable uh be encouraged and be confident in knowing this that you're going to win obviously right so use this truth uh be diligent be consistent Uh, and do the works that angels do. Obviously, with all these things, you have to be seriously applying your effort and seriously giving it your all. Uh, this is all just dependent on you itself. It's not dependent on anyone else. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, this video was typically a little shorter than, than usual, but uh, the kingdom of light is far superior than the kingdom of darkness and nature in itself just teaches these types of things uh focus lay it to heart use the truth to get your deliverances and your healings today and obviously you're going to get them today if you use this truth in jesus christ's name amen uh i pray that the graces are actually loose inside of your vessel to be able to do these works and especially just to be grounded in the truth and to not really accepting any of the lies of the devil itself as well as loosening the graces to just be saved and to just have and to just be preserved and to just be uh be pleasing to christ himself and to get rid of all the enticements that are inside of inside of your vessel and the iniquities themselves that way you're not really affected by these things because they should have no effect on you whatsoever it's a mental game don't get put in these legalistic bonds as well as the graces to actually destroy these legalistic bonds be loosed in your vessel uh and the gift of tongues be loosed inside of your vessel In Jesus Christ's name, amen. I think that about wraps it up. Thank you. Uh, give it to Christ. Uh, pray about it. Uh, pray without ceasing. Uh, and ask for a more excellent way. And just give this all to Christ. That way you actually get the graces to ensure that you're not missing anything. Uh, and that you're not... Uh, wasting your time, or you're actually making good use of your opportunities, or you're actually walking here on the face of this earth. Because, because, I mean, that about wraps it up, though. So, thank you. Have a good day. Um, pray for your loved ones, pray for your family members, and I think that about wraps it up. don't give the obviously this whole video is just emphasized on the on the kingdom of light because the kingdom of light is superior so don't give the uh the flesh more of a of authority than it actually has you obviously have the authority to break every single curse so honestly do you really think that these things are more powerful than they try to make it seem that's a curse in itself uh as well as it's a curse in itself to uh, not be making good use of your time and to not actually be applying yourselves and actually putting the efforts in. All these things are curses. All these things are hindrances. All these things are contrary to your heavenly uh, life. Expose it. Ask Christ to still reveal these types of things to you in your life. That way you actually have sharper eyes and that way you're actually able to recognize that all these things that are inside of your life were just inside of your life that you didn't even notice. And you were just acting, not even giving it much of a second thought. And you're just like, oh, this is just my life. I have to suck it up and things of that nature, even though everybody has this miscon everybody has this I uh, this uh this dream of what their life would be like in heaven. So this dream is a very much reality for individuals who are in the body of Christ. You just have to accept it as truth. And do the works and to give it to Christ it is all done by grace through faith as well as giving it to Christ and praying to Christ to reveal what uh, what challenges are in your life that are stopping you from not actually 
taking the leap of faith uh, and walking forward and, and actually getting better. Don't let these devils harass you. They should not be coming inside of your life just to smack you around. Obviously, they don't do that in, in your heavenly life. So why would they do that here? In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Speak in tongues. Amen. In Jerusalem outward especially focus and nudge the body of Christ that is in Jerusalem. I know I mentioned these types of things before in the past, but these things typically get put in the uh, get placed in the back and take a back seat. So uh intercede strategically for the body of Christ and intercede strategically for the body of Christ, especially in Jerusalem outward. Uh as this in itself should be the main priority and the main uh focus for individuals because of what is about to happen and transpire. So intercede strategically for the body of Christ and just in general in Jerusalem and all across the earth uh, and nudge the body of Christ in Jerusalem outward uh, and in general, just strategically and in general, just to ensure that they're obviously doing the work that they're supposed to be doing uh, and to ensure that this is obviously uh, functioning in the same manner as it will function in heaven down here on earth. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Go, apply yourselves diligently. Don't forget, being forgetful is a curse. 